Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our crystal drop ornament. This is a coordinating freebie that goes along with our trim the tree SVG bundle. And um, it's off to a hot start. You guys are really excited, obviously, to start decorating for the holidays. And I have here in front of me the actual ornaments from the bundle, which many of you have already seen in the trailers and the photos. And you can see how beautiful they came out. And I see that, again, you guys have really just uh, dove, ro dove, dived right in. <laughs> and um, I'm seeing a lot of these already, actually. So today uh, we have a freebie. It's, like I said, it's a, a little crystal. And we have this really cool paper. Um, it's like, I forget what the, what the word is for it. It's holographic, I guess you could call it. Um, it almost looks like a little diamond kind of being hit by some light. But this is the main structure. It's one piece, so it makes it very easy. There's two sections, a top and a bottom. The middle section, I've got some, I've got some really pretty lace. Uh, it's like a braid actually, but it's lacy and we're gonna hot glue that on. Uh, but while this thing is flat, we can put these two sections on, or just this bottom section. Uh, we'll reserve the top section for when the ornament is actually put together, and I'll show you why. But for now, while it's flat, I enjoy and prefer to put panels on uh, projects while they're flat. It's just a lot easier whenever possible. So just putting a little bit of glue on the back of this piece, and then just popping it right on. You wanna to try to, the reason I'm putting my sleeve over my fingers, I don't wanna get any of my oils from my finger on this paper as it will potentially show. But when you put it down, you wanna make sure you, you keep somewhat of an even border. There's a, a very, very tiny little blue border that you'll see uh, around the piece there. You can see how it's, it's pretty small, but try to get this piece as centered as possible, okay? So get your glue on the next one. You're gonna repeat this process four times. I'm only doing two since I did two off camera. And we'll pop that right into place alongside its friends here. Okay, and before we get into assembling the actual, um, the final structure here, we have this little topper, the top of it, and I've pre-folded everything this is the little lid or the little pizza box lid as I'll call it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on this little tab here and we're gonna join it to the other side. Okay, so just kind of dab that a little bit and grab the other side. And actually, you can actually lay this down flat. So put that tab down flat. You can see it there, I'm putting it down flat and I'm putting, grabbing this other side and just pressing it down right on there. And that is going to ensure that we get everything aligned very accurately. Give it a few seconds and then you can just give it a little push to spring it back into shape. And then we have this little uh, square piece with the holes in it. We're gonna push that down onto these tabs. There's three little tabs and some of them have little cutouts on them. And that's just to make way for, um, well, the little holes on the top so we can put our string through there. So I put a little bit of glue on all three tabs, just kind of hit it with my finger very gently to spread that glue out and we'll close the top and press and hold that down. You can actually flip it over upside down and if you have a little dowel handy, you can push down from the inside to help the rest of that tab make contact with the little topper or the top part of this element. Okay, so there you have it. And uh, one little thing that is kind of important here is to make sure that we actually thread and put the string in before we put it on top of our ornament so that it's just easier. And I actually decided that I'm going to just hit the edges of this with a little bit of ink. And I'm going with kind of a magenta color just to give this a little bit more interest. The blue part or the lagoon, it's AC lagoon part of the main structure. Uh, I don't know if inking is really necessary because by the time you ink it, the holographic panel is going to cover it up mostly and it won't be very visible. So I'm just adding a little bit of color to this guy here just to make it a little more interesting. 
And we have actually have a video, a blog post actually on our website under the help section on inking if you want to learn more about that. Okay, but let's get back to this guy here. Okay, and what we're gonna do, you can see that we have a big tab here. We're gonna take that and glue that to the back side of this section like that. So we're gonna start closing this up. So let's do that. Let's grab our glue and start applying. And I'm gonna take that glue and spread it all the way out to the very edge of this tab, nice and thin. We'll bring the other side. Now make sure you don't have, if you're using any type of reflective paper like that, make sure your fingers are nice and clean. Okay, grab the other end, line it up. And with this, again, you can actually fold this down flat. Once, the, once this section has made contact with that tab, just press it down flat. That will help it kind of set faster and it kind of does the work for you in figuring out where to place it. Okay, so that looks great. Now I'm taking this section here and folding it down just a tad so I can make room for this little tab here. We'll put a little bit of glue on that and I'll hit that with my finger to thin out the glue, spread it out to the edge and I'll grab this section and you wanna line that up as accurately as you can and press and hold. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda of go around in a circle and do each of these sections here. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this tab here, put a little bit of glue on it and get that glued to the back of this section. And we'll just kinda of continue all the way around until this middle section is glued. And then we have one more tab here and one more at the top. Okay, moving along here, got this tab. Just a really small tab so you don't need a lot of glue. You wanna just cover it just enough so you have a thin layer of glue on there. And we'll bring this in, line it up, put your finger back there and squeeze and hold. Okay, now closing this up, this is where it's not tricky. It just helps to have a little tip and I will share that tip with you here in just one second. This is our last tab here. You can see that little triangular one, same one we've been, same one we've been gluing and I prematurely let this tab go and it came apart. So you gotta be careful there. Make sure that you're holding this down long enough to help it set. And okay, so actually, you know what? We have access to this and it's pretty accessible. So we don't actually need to use the little tip, uh, but I'll, I'll go over it in a second here. Okay, so we got a little bit of glue on there. Tuck that behind. Okay, you can actually pull this down so you can get your thumb in there and your, I'm sorry, your finger. And we're gluing this middle section to that last tab. So the middle section is all constructed now. And now we're gonna start working on this long tab. Okay, so be patient there. Make sure everything sets nicely for you before you move on so we don't risk ripping it, okay? So let's grab some glue and we'll start applying it to this tab. And that little tip that I wanted to share, I believe we're gonna need to use it when we actually close this up completely. I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so again, lining it up nice and accurate and just continue kind of working your fingers up and down that tab, making sure that it's making good contact. Should have a nice, clean, even seam there. And then we can move on to the next tab. Get your glue on there. And I always tell everyone, you can use your finger if you want. I prefer it because I can really feel what I'm doing. Uh, if you don't wanna get glue on your fingers, you can use a little brush or a scrap piece of paper to spread that glue. I don't think it's as effective and it's not as efficient, which is why I use my finger. And yeah, I have to wipe my finger off occasionally while I'm working here, but my end result is always so much cleaner when I use my finger. Okay, there we go. And you can see how it's starting to take shape here. So now uh, this is where we are gonna probably have to use that tip. Uh, I'm gonna put glue on this tab here. We gotta close this up. And when we do that, we have to tuck that other tab in as well because it can't be sitting on the outside of our structure here. So you're probably wondering, well, how the heck am I supposed to get glue in there? I'll show you. 
So make sure you tuck this tab in while we work on getting this one aligned. Okay. And if it helps, you can take a little dowel and press it up against the back side of that tab so that when you push down, you're actually pushing up against something and you're creating that force that's required to get these two pieces or these two sections to really stay together. Okay. And that looks, that looks good. It's exactly where I need it to be. So now here comes the little tip because obviously we can't really, can't really pull this apart too much without risking ripping it apart but we do need to get glue on that tab in there. So here's the trick. Just grab a scrap piece of paper, put some glue on there. Not too thick, but not too thin. And since there's no glue here, you can literally just, no matter what, you're not gonna get any glue on there. So you can kind of use the back as a guide to slide it in and then push it up against that tab and just paint that glue on there with the piece of paper. And that works every time. Okay, so we got that. Now we can push this against that tab. And again, if it helps, I don't even think it's necessary, but you can put your dowel in there so you have something to push up against. And voila, it's all magically together now. Okay, so now all that's left to do is we have four little triangular tabs at the top to create the little top of this. So we can start by putting glue on one tab and I'm just kind of hitting that with my finger, thinning it out, grab the section next to it and press right up against that tab where we have our glue. Shouldn't take more than a few seconds. If it takes more than two seconds or a few seconds, probably is a good indicator that you've used too much glue. So a couple drops, thin it out with your finger, grab this side, press it up against the tab. Should have enough room in there still to get your finger in there to press that down. Moving on to the next one, a couple dots, thin it out, press it up against there. Now this is where we wanna take that tab and tuck it in before we glue this section together. You can grab your dowel so that you have something to press up against. Just pop it right in there against that tab, just like that. And that last tab, you guessed it, we're gonna use our little trick here. Just grab a little bit of glue on a scrap piece of paper, slide it right in there and just brush some of that glue onto that tab. Not too much. There we go. I'll stick my dowel inside and press up against it to get it to hold. Now, if that top part doesn't look great, it's okay because we're gonna clean it up with this piece. We're just literally gonna take this and slide it right on top and press it down. Now, remember, we need to put that string through here before we do that so that uh, it doesn't become an impossible task later on. And I don't know what the, I don't know, what, oh, there it is. I've got some nice silver string here. Cut some of this off. There we go. So this is not yet glued down. And I'm just gonna take and feed some string through here. And I wouldn't worry too much about the length of it right now. You can kind of just get it in the ballpark and then you can always trim it later. So I'll just tie it off so it doesn't come slipping through and then I'll worry about the length of it once everything's assembled. Okay, so there you go. And what we'll do then is I'm just gonna throw a little bit of glue here at the top of this. You'll see there's a little fold mark there. Don't get it below that fold, otherwise it'll show up. That's all you need to do. And then we'll take this. It might help to spread these out a little bit so they don't accidentally touch any of that glue and just slide it right on all the way down as far as it'll go. Take a look at it from each side and try to make sure that it's nice and centered on all the sides and it is. Okay, so there's that. And that just leaves these little panels. And the reason we left these on for last is because when we put these on, if the top part doesn't go on perfectly, you have a little bit of wiggle room to adjust it so this, this little V shape fits in there correctly. So everything looks nice and symmetrical. So I'll just throw a little bit of glue on these last four panels. Okay, and we'll pop that right into place. Try to kind of create and maintain a nice even border around this whole section here, as well as that little V shape up at the top. 
Okay, and just continue to press that down like so. And then we will just repeat this process three more times until we have all our panels on. Now for the center here, I mentioned I, I, have, some, I have some braid there that I'm going to put in place. And you can use whatever you, whatever you have, whatever you want. I mean, you can make a special trip and get something fancy or just use something that you already have in your stash getting that in place. Now, also, while you're putting these little panels in place, try to keep them at the same height here all the way around. That will help just kind of keep it looking consistent. Okay. And moving on here to the next one. I've got my, I've got my hot glue gun going just to get it ready so that I can apply my braid. And this one, we'll call this one almost done here. Not much to it. Pretty straightforward, so I could totally see these being mass produced. Uh, I mean, it is the freebie. T typically, we try to keep our freebie files easier than our paid ones. So I hope you guys are enjoying all of our ornaments. If you have not grabbed a copy of our Trim the Tree SVG bundle, I highly recommend it. It's very fun. And if you're hesitant, this is the perfect project to start out with to kind of get you into the mindset of creating 3D ornaments. Um, none of the other ornaments are exactly like this, but there are some characteristics and some processes that overlap with what we just did here. So if you can make this, you can make any of the other ornaments in our bundle. So. As I mentioned, the last thing that I'm gonna do, and I'll probably just do this off camera since it's not really, it's optional. Uh, you could also take and put some pearls, some rhinestones, whatever other bling you have, uh, just around this little square or rectangular area. But as you can see, I'm gonna take and hot glue this onto my ornament, and that is really gonna set this thing off and make it look great, so. Uh, that's it for this one guys. I hope you enjoy it or I hope you enjoyed it And if you did would love if you considered subscribing to our YouTube channel So head over to your YouTube hit subscribe There's also a little bell that you can click on to get notifications anytime we release a new product whether it be paid or free And if you make this or anything from our new trim the tree bundle I would love to see it and so would over 33,000 other dreamers who uh, well they inspire us over in our group on Facebook so head over to your Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, or you can type in this little URL here at the bottom of your screen, right into your browser, and it'll take you right there. So happy ornament making, and uh, we're getting ready for uh, the first freeze of the year, which I'm kind of not looking forward to, but it'll be a great time to get those decorations up. And again, as always, I look forward to crafting with you soon. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.